Hey, a pleasant good evening, everyone. This is just going to be some key NHL takeaways from the first four days of the season. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borick, and please like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell below if you like what you're hearing. So we're going to start first and foremost with the uh, Pens and the Flyers. We're right away snapping back in after having a rough playoff. Cindy Crosby, as always, was able to steal a puck from Carter Hart and score in front of the net. And then Mark Janikowski was able to score after a nice assist from Brandon Tanev and Jared McCann in front of the net on a nice slap goal in right in front of the net. James Van Riemsdyk showed some night for net fronts presence and new acquisition Eric Gustafson was able to be a part of both power play goals showing his night wrist shot on one a nice slap shot on another to be able to set guys up one in Patrick and the other in Van Riemsdyk to be able to get deflection goals in front of the net so a lot of guys the Flyers want to stand out definitely were able to stand out early for their team and that was able to also carry in for their club uh, to their second game as well, which was obviously Friday evening uh, when the Philadelphia Flyers beat the Penguins 5-2 uh, to two when Travis Konechny was able to score a hat-trick and have a very good game. And then Carter Hart was able to be their savior in the second period after they really clapped and did not show up nearly as well in the second period. So that was really, really big for the Flyers to be able to see their guy that's a Vezina caliber goalie step up and a guy like Konechny who had a rough playoffs himself step up. And for Pittsburgh, Crosby had a rough playoffs and he was able to come in and step up right away. And a new guy like Janikowski and Tanev have been playing immensely great early. Um, for Montreal, we got to see the Suzuki show again since the season started. He was able to get a goal in the first game. And then Jeff Petrie has also been good. Uh, since the start of the season, he was able to pot and assist in the first game. But you can't go without talking about Montreal without pointing out how well two guys have played, and that's Tomas Tatar and Josh Anderson. Josh Anderson was able to pot two goals in his first game, one really crashing hard to the net. And then Tomas Tatar was able to pot a goal in his first game and another one in the game today. Uh, actually, if I remember correctly, I believe he actually potted two um, in the game today in the 5-1 to one victory for the Montreal Canadian over the Edmonton Oilers really pounding them and uh, the one was on an assist by Brandon Gallagher who now has the help around him finally other guys that can get in front of the net like the Josh Andersons of the world also the Jacob Evans who was able to score on a, a goal that you're not necessarily uh, used to um, seeing uh, him score on a persistent uh short-handed uh, goal there uh, coming down the line where he's more of a net front presence type guy but he was able to score a crash in the net and being able to go back up in front and persist there and get it but that was a nice play by him so it's nice for them to be able to see uh, who they want to see uh, step up and see some guys like Petrie who continues to do well and be one of the most underrated defensemen uh, in the NHL as far as I'm concerned. Early on in the season thus far, Jeff Petrie already has two goals and two assists for four points for a plus three rating. The dude is absolutely ridiculous. And Tatar on the season thus far um, is already doing well, having two goals and just playing a great hell of a season. Um, you, we also have had great play uh, no matter whether it was in a losing or winning effort, whether you're talking about the first game of the season for the New Jersey Devils or the second game of the season by Mackenzie Blackwood. Uh, Blackwood has been absolutely phenomenal. Um, in the first game, he was the only reason they were able to get to a shootout that Brad Morsham was able to win who has also been really good for the Devils. He was a guy that they thought, or for the Devils, excuse me, for the Bruins. He was a guy that needs to be shot out for the Bruins because he was a guy that wasn't supposed to be originally in, was able to pot a goal in his first game, and then also get an assist on the Nick Ritchie goal. But a guy that must be shouted out for the Devils is Ty Smith, who was able to pot a goal in his first game off of an assist by Matt Tennyson, a defenseman they really like, and youngster Jack Hughes. So that was huge for them too. And then Smith was able to carry... His stellar early play of his career into the game that they were able to win in OT on uh, Saturday th th today as well. So it was nice to see Ty Smith be able to become part of a goal that Miles Wood was able to score when he was able to get the shot on net and just play a really well, nice and consolidated game out there. So that was just good. 
good for him. Another rookie that did really well on the first game of his career was John Leonard, uh, who looked really good, potting a primary assist on Timu Meyer's goal on his first game of the season for the Sharks. And then he was also able to get an assist on one of Vander Kane's goal, uh, being able to showcase his talents coming from UMass Amherst as a six-round pick. He could end up being a very good find uh, for the Sharks. And then Kane had a very nice uh, third-period goal on a breakaway there, which was the goal that Leonard was able to get an assist on. So that was very nice to see. Uh, Phil Kessel is getting off to a hot firecracker start. He was able to net the key game tying goal to make the game go into overtime in the first game of the season. And then, of course, in today's games, he was a pivotal part of beating the San Jose Sharks. He was able to net a goal in the first period on an assist by Oliver ekman Larson, And then he was also able to net a goal later in the game, also on an assist by Oliver ekman Larson. Uh, so he already has three goals on the season and is just really rounding and pounding out there, proving people that he is definitely not washed up and definitely not ready to stop playing any time soon. But that is just the guys that I think have standed out so far early. There's also another guy that has to be talked about before we go, and that is Vitek Vanacek in his first game uh, for the Washington Capitals. Really showed up against the Buffalo Sabres. They got outshot by 10 and they were still able to beat them 2-1 to one because of a very nice wrist shot goal coming into the uh, slot by Jacob Vrana, who's one of the most underrated wrist shots in the league as far as I'm concerned. Another great wrist shot goal over the glove of uh, Linus Olmark uh, from Tom Wilson, who also has a very underrated shot because everybody thinks of him for his toughness. But Vitek Vanacek looked very good, calm, cool, collected, and poised in that game and made some huge save on key moments that the defense even broke down at times uh, for Washington, so he definitely needs to be shouted out uh, early. And then Colin DeLea in his first game did look good as well. He just obviously, when you're playing a team like Tampa Bay, he wasn't able to get the protection you would like to see and love, but he started off the game good, just like Malcolm Subban. Then obviously, how you expect with Chicago as a rebuilding team, the floodgates kind of opened a little bit, and Tampa was able to get it done. But guys have looked good in their first games early. Uh, from rookie standouts, there's been Ty Smith looking great so far in all of his games, being able to be a big part of the offense. Uh, a guy for um, Ottawa, Josh Norris, has looked very good uh, so far this year, as well as uh, Brady Kachuk. So you definitely want to see all of those guys stand up and show out early. Uh, Josh Norris and Drake Batherson really stole uh, Tim Stusel's debut from him, uh, who was finally... Uh, able to um, get that, well not finally, it's after two games, but in his second game, bat a ridiculous goal out of the air. Great hand-eye coordination for a one-timer for Stutzler's first goal for the German kid. I mean, he's going to be a great player in the NHL. He's already able to come over here. The great Alex Trebek, rest his soul, was able to announce his pick. I mean, this dude is going to be a beast, and he was able to showcase his hand-eye coordination batting that one out of the air. But it was funny. I mean, everybody was excited for his debut. I was excited for his debut. I put it on the TV. And then uh, as the last wrap-up point here, because two other youngsters that showed up and showed out after um, Zach Hyman also had a um, very weird uh, tip-in uh, goal in front that was right at the crossbar, which was really a funny goal that I don't think I've ever seen a goal that was that close to the crossbar, and he showed great hand-eye coordination, batting that in, but uh, the, they really took over the show, Josh Norris, it became the Josh Norris and a Drake Batherson show, because Norris got the assist with Batherson on the Shabbat goal to start the scoring for the Senators, uh, then Norris got an assist on the Kachuk goal, and then uh, the only goal I think they didn't get an assist on was a watching goal, one of them, oh no, excuse me, on the Chris Tierney goal, Brady Kachuk got an assist to keep showing out and showing up early, and he's a guy that's just going to continue to produce a round when he really gets going or just under potentially a points-per-game type level. And then he also got another assist, Brady Kachuk, with Drake Batherson on the Dra Derek Stefan goal. So, I mean, a lot of young guys have really showed up and showed out early for teams, and that has been absolutely phenomenal um, to see. Another guy in the first day of the season that was able to get his first goal uh, for the Vancouver Canucks was uh, Niles Hoglander was able to score his first career goal. So a shout-out to him as well. 
as Stutzla was also able to do so, and Ty Smith was able to do so for the Devils. So those have been some key takeaways or top takeaways from the NHL's first four days of the season. I'm going to do these videos every so often on some top takeaways, and I'm also going to start doing some videos on some guys that I think are going to be top players at their position um, for rewards by the end of the season fairly shoot shortly as well. So this has been Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borek. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video. Peace out, everybody.